uh, your stream. Doing a YouTube video, man. Come on, man. You got to be ready you for YouTube this, man. Also? Yeah, I still do YouTube videos, man. And guess what day it is? It's Tuesday. Guess what day it two is? Two-piece Tuesday short? This is a two-piece Tuesday short, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. Two-piece Tuesday short, man. If y'all remember back in the day, I used to I used to do a whole bunch of stuff with NASA One. We might try to start doing this, you know, with basketball. And football, just just opinions, thoughts and opinions, miscellaneous sets. But y'all already know the man of the hour, the thing of the hour, the whatever yeah. of the hour, man. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself now. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. Good year, everybody. Next one. We ain't no Zuby Zuzay. Tuesday. Man, listen, man. So this two piece Tuesday, we're gonna we're just gonna talk about this. I'm playing devil's advocate today. Nasa will be on the side of a um He's on the Kyrie side. I'm going to be on the Isaiah Thomas side, man. So, you know. Um, as you know, Kyrie Irving has been traded to the Celtics for, uh, for Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, and a draft pick from the Nets in 2018. So, you already know there's going to be like, what, a top three pick? Them, them, them Nets, garbage. But, uh, you know. Now, now I'm just going gonna, gonna to kick it right over to you since I took up the whole introduction. Now, so what do you think about this trade, man? Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Kyrie Irving for let me quote the president for a bad ombre. This dude is whack, man. First of all, Isaiah Thomas can't stop anybody on the Golden State Warriors. So unless Caval uh, Cleveland's trying to build a team to do well in the regular season and not in the postseason, your team just got way worse. Second of all, Kyrie Irving's the clutch master. Nobody's better than him when it matters. Well not nobody, but he's pretty much very high up there. Where's that tail Isaiah Thomas at when his team was getting blown out by 50 points oh at home? To God, here we you go. You know what I mean? What are you doing, bro? I mean, he had a bad hip. Kyrie though. Irving for a little munchkin that can't guard anybody on on the Warriors, like horrible this, trade. Man. This is the whole terrible, reason. Terrible trade. This is the whole reason I brought NASA because I asked him about it. He was just going in. So I'm like, hey, I might as well get my dog on here with me, man. Now me, I'm, I'm I got a different. I got a little bit different. It might not be realistic, but hey, it is what it is. I figure you get a good, you get a good three and D guy. He he shoots 35, 36 percent in Jay Crowder. He's gonna play good defense, right? He gonna give. Uh, he might he might come out there and defend twos and threes and maybe fours or, or whatever like that. You know, he's he's athletic. He can stand in the corner, hit an open shot. He's not gonna cost you anything more or less. He ain't gonna be wild like Jr. Jr. Smith throwing up shots and stuff. So I feel like I feel like this whole thing isn't even about. Um, Isaiah Thomas, to be honest with you, I think this whole thing is about getting that draft pick and um, getting somebody like Jay Crowder because because Isaiah Thomas is 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 uh, up to make uh, a whole lot of money next year and I know that the I know that the Cavs would have liked to keep Kyrie because Kyrie was on the contract and I don't think he was making but like what thirty Kyrie's way better. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna go with that too. Uh -huh. I think Kyrie's making like thirty million you know, over the next three years and Isaiah Thomas is is slated to make like thirty next year. So, I think right. well, it was a great. So more than likely, well, that's what, that's, yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah, that's what we're saying. He's gonna go to the highest bidder. So we don't even know what's gonna happen. Now they said that that um, the Cavs actually wanted Jason Tatum, so they were going for the juggler on this thing. They, they, they was like they wanted Isaiah Thomas, Jason Tatum, and that pick and some more stuff. But they was like, dog, you can't get all of that. So all right, so now you got you got Kyrie at the point. You're gonna have. Uh, who you gonna have? Probably smart at the two. I, I don't have a roster in front of me, so y'all gotta bear with me. Uh, probably smart at the two. You're gonna have um, Gordon Hayward at the three. Uh, you'll have uh, your big boy um, Al Horford at the four slash five, and I don't even know who they're gonna have at the five, man. I don't got the roster in front of me. But um, I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. We don't do no prep on these videos. We probably should, but we, why, why would we do some prep on this, man? Um, we don't need prep to know that this was a horrible deal, man. <laughs> And so, look, first of all, Isaiah Thomas, he's going to a Cleveland team where he can't play point guard because LeBron plays point guard. So exactly. What he turn into, and see, that's the thing. That's the thing. Can then, he play off the ball like that? It, well, then, I would say one reason is better. Yeah. One reason this is better for for the, the Cavs is because you just, like, you know from Shaq and Kobe, you're not going to win a championship with this gruntle, you know, where people going at each other. You know what I'm saying? Where they can't, where they can't get along. So you know you're not winning a championship with that, so... At least they're gonna improve in that regard. 
you know. So I mean, it is what it is. Oh yeah, they got Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris probably gonna play the four, and then uh, and then Al Horford gonna play the five. I mean, he don't rebound, but it is what it is. Somebody correct me in the in the uh, comments and tell me who they gonna probably put there, but it is what it is. But go ahead. Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. So, uh, Nassim. So Isaiah Thomas, first of all, he ain't going to be playing point guard. Because LeBron got to pad his stats and bring the ball up. Wow. So he ain't going to play no point guard. But then second of all, in the fourth quarter, that's where he gets most of his points. Because nobody else on Boston could score. So he has to score the points in the fourth quarter. So in Cleveland, he's, got, he's not going to have nearly as much scoring opportunities. He's not going to be able to create his own shot. In, uh, yeah, he's not going to get the opportunity. He, he he'll still going to want the ball. Right, right, right. He'll still have the ability to do it, but he's just not going to really get the opportunity to do it. So this Kyrie is a... was different. Kyrie scored because he was able to just score whenever he wanted to. Right. Isaiah Thomas can't score whenever he wants to. Well, Isaiah you know... Thomas can run at the rim, jump at the biggest guy, and fall because he's 5'2", and shoot some free throws like James <laughs> Harden, but he can't just go up and be like, yo, we need a basket right now, like Kyrie did for them over and over again right and just come down the court and score he cannot do that and then how you think this is even going to work out with with isaiah thomas and um rose derrick rose on the same team like how is that going to work out you think they're going to put i mean i've even heard some come off the bench for sure but rose was actually like as a knicks fan i saw a lot of rose right the first half of the season rose was pretty much like their first or second best player in the first half of the season would you would you agree who was playing like really good and in the fourth quarter he was pretty clutch. Like, yeah. Like, and when we needed a basket fourth quarter, he must have shot like 90%. Because I, yeah. I rarely saw this guy miss in the fourth quarter. Would you say but he... Derrick Rose wasn't too bad, but, you know, he only got one leg, so... Would you say that he's better suited for this than, um, than pretty much anything? Because he gets to catch the ball and then make a move rather than him, you know, them kind of leaning on him to do everything? You know, like like it's going. You already know that that him and LeBron. Do you think that him and LeBron are going to be a little bit better than? Well, not not better than Kyrie. Do you think it's a better fit in some in Ooh, some Rose cases? Rose or Thomas? Are oh, we talking about Rose now? I'm talking about Rose now. No, Just, Rose. Rose. The thing with Rose is he's not a point guard. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I feel like he's better. <laughs> I feel like Rose is better catching the ball and then attacking, and then as whereas Kyrie, I feel like Kyrie got to have the ball like. Like, it's weird because they won't be better, but it might be a better fit See, with, with is, Rose I think, I think because so he'll Rose defer easier. Better. I think Rose is better when he has the ball in his hands because even though he don't have the explosiveness, he can still create his own shot. Okay. That's and, fair. And he needs the ball like Irving to create his own shot. Ah, okay. Like, to, like to play with LeBron, you need to either be able to have a yeah. spot-up jumper yeah. like Melo. You got to be able to play be off able the catch. To cut to the basket. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I'm saying. Down, yeah. And then pass it back to LeBron. <laughs> you know what I mean? So so that's why I was wondering why Cleveland ain't just go straight for uh, Melo. Yeah. And, and, and well, I, like, I heard some stuff about them. them they're, they're talking about they might get D-Wade and or, and, or Melo. They're, like, they're trying to work some stuff to get that going. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, And that's what I've always felt like. Like, LeBron needs people that can play off catching the ball and then attack. And so, like, I felt yeah. like D-Rose can do that. I, I just feel like Kyrie... He just like he 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 needs that. You got two players that need to have the ball in their hand, and then you go get a you trade for a player that needs to have the ball in his hand. It's kind of weird. Like both teams stayed the same. Well, Cleveland didn't get much worse, but I feel like Boston, Boston got, got a really little. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Cleveland is pretty much in the same predicament. This does not get you past Golden State, but at the same not time, either. it's almost like they're just giving it up, throwing it in the towel, and like, well, you know. Cause I'd be, I would be astonished if they sign, if they re-sign. Um, hell, I'd be astonished if, if LeBron stays. I'm gonna keep it real with you, but uh, he might go out there west with, uh, with, with, uh, with Paul George or whatever, man. But I, I mean, he may stay. Who knows? But I would be astonished if they re-sign Isaiah Thomas. I just feel like it's like, there's like we knew that Kyrie was disgruntled. We'll get something that's that's comparable. LeBron gonna do the bulk of the point guard in anyway, so it really don't matter who we get as long as they're. They're decent. Thomas can score. Thomas can get buckets. Thomas can take over the game at times if he gets rolling and get hot. Maybe not as much as Kyrie can do it, but he can do that. Um, so, so you know, you didn't, you didn't like neither side lost too much. But I just think the ace in the hole. If they could have got Jason Tatum, that would have been the ace in the hole. But I just think the, the the biggest part of this whole thing is that they got that draft pick from Cleveland. I mean, yeah, from uh, from the, the Nets. The, the main thing is if you lose an Irving. You had to get a first-round draft pick. Yes, and, and they the got it from the Nets. The best 
first round draft pick to offer right. is Boston because they got the Nets pick. Mm -hmm. So the only other horrible team that could have traded for first round pick is maybe the Knicks, but you're well, not going to trade Irvin for Melo because they need nah, a point guard. No, nah, exactly. So they needed a point guard. Like if if the if you could have got another point guard who was serviceable, like not Rose, but like somebody's like starting quality. Yeah, yeah. Where where you could have gave up like um, Kevin Love, or even traded Irvin, but like got a third team that gave you a point guard. Let's say Isaiah Thomas came in the three team trade yeah. and gave him Isaiah Thomas, and they got Melo, and then Boston got whatever back in return. Or even if the they got a legit is, two, if they got a legit two and a serviceable point guard, I'm sure they would have done that. Yeah, because Melo fits exactly what Cleveland does. Right. Melo, first of all, has been the first option on his team for like the last eight years. Right. And he's getting old. You know what I mean? Right now, Melo's strength is spot up shooting. Yeah. Like his percentages off of catch and, and shoot. Then, and and like stuff off that jab stuff. 70%. Yeah, and yeah, working his, off his jab stuff. catch step. and shoot percentage is ridiculously high. I right. forgot, but I know I was watching a broadcast and they say him off the catch and shoot, he's shooting like over 60%. Right. Right. So he mean, can definitely catch the ball and spot up and shoot, which exactly plays with Cleveland's play style. Right. And he would fit perfect in Cleveland, like without a doubt. So, like he's definitely will score more points in the playoffs than Kevin Love does. So more or less what you're saying is anybody can play in Cleveland as long as they don't want to shoot the ball until LeBron gives it to him. Is what you're saying. Yeah. You need to catch the ball and shoot. That's what you got to do in Cleveland. Yeah. Catch the ball when he gives it to you and shoot. It's the same thing yeah. like LeBron is basically like Draymond Green, except he's playing with or like Rondo. That shoot threes instead yeah. of a whole bunch of guards that shoot threes. Right. Or like Rondo. Like, he got to be, he got to get, he's either going to score it or he's going to get the assist. That's yeah, what. like Draymond Green, I was talking to, um, who, I forgot who I was talking to, but first of all, Draymond Green is the fourth option right. on a good ass team. Right. And he gets the, he's, Gets to get the ball and pass it to Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant. Oh um, my God! What's his name? Uh, uh, Clay Thompson. You know what I mean? So you're right. passing the ball to amazing shooters. Of course you're gonna get mad assists. Exactly. From the point guard. You know what I mean? They're and not it, doing nothing incredible. Right. Getting assists. Right. You just passing so, the wide open swing, uh, wingman. He's just in the perfect situation. Yeah, you yeah. put Draymond Green on the Knicks, they'll be in last place the same way they are right now. Yeah, he'll be. He's, but he'll, he's, he'll, a good, he's a good player to go on a good team. Yes, he'll be a good defender. I mean, he'll be a good defender. He'll still get rebounds, but nah, he wouldn't be defensive he's player. He's not like a guy you, you go, oh, we got to give him max contract in the offseason. Exactly, exactly. And he, ain't, he ain't going to bring your team over the top unless you already had the first right. option and the second option, and then you're signing Draymond as a third option. Right. I, I completely agree with that. So, so more or less, what we're saying is, neither one of these teams get past the. Um, neither one of these teams get past. Neither one of them is beating it, Golden State. It's Golden State, or, or if the, I, I feel like the only team. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like the only team that can beat Golden State is San Antonio. I really feel like that's like the only team that can beat them. I mean, some people were talking about well, maybe maybe OKC can beat them because OKC was, but like I keep telling y'all. Kevin Durant was on OKC then. Kevin Durant is now on yeah, the Warriors. Kevin Durant, yeah. Kevin Durant was the reason. Kevin Durant made that team worse by leaving. Like he he was like, oh, we can't we can't beat the oh the Warriors. The Warriors have trouble with us. Why? Because I'm on the team. Well, shoot, let me let me go over here and then yeah, now, now it, it, it's nothing. So we've already seen this before, is what I was telling y'all. We've seen this before. But Kevin Durant is on the Warriors now, so they're definitely not going to beat him. But, you know. Yeah, yeah. That was just overkill. I mean, if you yeah. think about it, what superstar player has had better teammates throughout their entire career than Kevin uh, uh, Kevin Durant? Hey. Like, this dude got to play, like, his first four years with him, Russell Green. Westbrook, James Harden, mm -hmm. Serge Ibaka, um... What's that other guy's name? Uh, Green was there uh, for a little bit. Jeff Green was there for a little bit. No, and then but the he was one more of an attacker. Uh, God, what the hell's the guy's name? He was on the Knicks, and he's always like a good player, but he's 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 on he's been on like mad teams already. Ah, uh, what the hell's his name? He's like a power forward, a small forward. Oh, uh, I don't know. I know he's. I I, I know. Anyway. Um, Cephalosha was on there. For yeah, a yeah, while. Cephalosha. But he played for the yeah, Hawks they, now. Yeah, they had a crazy good squad. Yeah, they did. I mean? They did. Cephalosha's three and D. He leaves them and goes to the Warriors to play with even better players than he's been playing with. Like imagine, a team, imagine you're gonna see a one-on-one -on -one every time and nobody can, nobody even has the option of helping. They don't even have anything, the option. 
if anything, your teammates are getting double teamed, and you get to just stand there and shoot a wide open. Right. Guy. Or, or if they put, if they put, if they, if they put Kyrie on you, they put a guard on you, you go to the rim, or you post him up, and if they put somebody on you, your size, you just shoot in LeBron's face or go by him. Like it yeah, didn't. Imagine it, you put Anthony Davis, replace him, and give him Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. Dude. You know what I, I mean? Or Boogie, like, or Boogie pass, passing out of the oh post. Yeah. Passing out of the post, and Boogie can shoot. And Boogie can can kill anybody in the post. Oh my God! If they had a Golden legit, State is just so stacked right now. It's like yeah, and maybe that's maybe that's what Cleveland was thinking too. Maybe that's what Cleveland was thinking. We can't beat these guys, and we know we're not gonna beat them this year. And we might barely beat Boston, but we're definitely not gonna beat Boston in the condition that we're in yeah. with the turmoil with with uh, with Kyrie and LeBron. So we might as well just like I don't think they're giving up because I think they can still beat Boston. But with Kyrie over there, I don't I don't know. I seriously don't know. I mean, I think they can still. I think they can. You know, every game Kyrie plays against Cleveland, he's going to drop extra right hard, there. extra <laughs> hard, easy. Because Isaiah Thomas can't stop him. Nah, nah. This dude's going to probably jump and step on his head and dunk on him. Yeah, it's going to be ugly, man. But it's going to be real interesting, man. Like I said, it's a good trade for both teams because it's a good trade for Cleveland because Cleveland gets rid of gets rid of the elephant in the room. They got somebody that maybe LeBron can play with. And LeBron gets the – yeah, and then Isaiah Thomas coming off that bad hip. So we really don't know what he's going to be this season. Maybe he's going to have to defer to LeBron and just play off the catch, play off the – uh, you know, catch the ball and then carry it, it carry it three it, times and, and do his thing. So, you know, like – It's a good enough trade that – Yeah. You could, you could debate it, like – just way, it. if you really wanted to, it's mm-hmm. not one of them trades where. Yeah, and that's what PJ. That's what PJ Carlissimo said. It's not one of them trades where you'll be like, "That's horrible." And that's what PJ Carlissimo said. He was like, "That's what a trade is supposed to be. Both teams are supposed to get better in some capacity." Yeah. I feel so like Cleveland. Draft pick, the, yeah. the main thing out that trade is not Isaiah Thomas. It's the draft. Pick. It's the draft pick, right? And Jay Crowder, they got some defense. Picks, you're getting a guy to replace your point guard. That's it. Doesn't kill your whole offense because you got right. another point guard. Right. So, so it keeps your team somewhat in its same position, but now you got like the number one pick in the draft. Bingo. So, and you know they're gonna, and you know, it. and you know they're gonna get the number one pick because it's because Cleveland has it. So you know yeah, they're gonna get the yeah, number one they're pick. They're gonna definitely maybe get like eight wins this year. Yeah. So and so they're, so, they're, so they're, like so they're, yeah right. It's gonna be a top three pick, and then because of that, Cleveland is gonna win because Cleveland always and gets then the number one Boston pick. Makes a trade mysteriously. Because because I Irvin is obviously so much better, right? Than Isaiah Thomas, and then you already got like eight first round draft picks and, coming and, up. And and and, and, and even though so. Gordon Hayward is nice, you got somebody that's gonna be able to really get him. Like people gonna get, like Kyrie if he plays the right way, he can get people wide open. And if yeah, you like if, you figure if you if you want to play the the three superstar setup. Yeah. Now you got Haywood and you got Irvin. Right. For a nice Horford. amount of time. And you right. got Irvin in his prime. Right. You know exactly. I mean? You got Irvin in his prime. And he got that chip on his shoulder, better. dog. He yeah, got so a chip he might on his even shoulder. Get better than what he was in Cleveland. Right. right. You got Haywood in his prime for like five years. And now you now that puts you in position to maybe in a year or two. Draft first of all, you could draft somebody nice. Well they already right. got what Well they, they got, got the Lakers pick, pick right? they got the Lakers pick from next year too, though. Yeah. So oh. they're gonna get even good, more good young players, and a superstar like um, if somebody, um, one of these superstars has become a free agents, you know what I mean? You tell them right, you want right. to pair up with Gordon and Irving. My God, they're gonna be on the team for sure for like three years. Yeah, because they got Kyrie for two more years, or at least one more year. I think he got yeah, an option Russell, after Russell, this year. They were saying he might, he might leave. Right, because uh, he's got a he's got a, a extension offer that he just hasn't signed yet, and it's been there for like. Right. A few weeks now. So even Westbrook, even if you put Irvin Westbrook and Gordon on the same team, that's going to be murdering a lot of people out there. Right. So this puts Boston in position to be one player away yeah. from being like almost just stupid, say just, Warriors just status. dumb. So right. Right. Like three mega stars on one team, and you're going to have still like mad first round draft picks on top of that. Right. And like I said, so, the biggest and the biggest thing for Boston. I feel like hold on, let me check out. Let me check out one second real quick. So Kyrie is gonna make next year this year Kyrie's making what? He's making uh eighteen million this year. What? I, I didn't know he was making that much. And he's making he's uh twenty like Yeah, he's making twenty million and twenty million. So he's gonna make he's gonna make uh 
I guess that's, that's what his cap would have been. Barely even scraping. The exactly, contract. and then you, but but so you don't have to pay, pay him thirty-five million dollar contract now. Right, so so they really got Kyrie for this season, next season. So they got they they got him locked up for three for three more years, pretty much. On a super discount. Right, on a super discount. Right, he definitely should be making more than that. And then, like I said, Isaiah Thomas. He's gonna be. He, this is he. He's a free agent after this year, if I'm not mistaken. I'm checking it right now. Yeah, this is it for him. So he's making six million this year, but but um, he's gonna make six million this year. But next year he's gonna make thirty. So you know, I, I think, like I said, it's it's great for Boston because it goes. It's gonna give them flexibility, but uh, at the same time, you know, it's just it's it, it's it's gonna. I mean, it's a good trade for both teams. I can't lie. But uh, Boston is just gonna Boston put themselves in a real good position. They put Even themselves in an outstanding in position, so that people can't say they're not trying. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's not like a give up trade. It's not right. a trade where people be like, "Yeah, that's it. This team is against." This but you, but you know, you're not. The thing is, you know, you're not beating Golden State this is, year. So the, why not take the opportunity get to get who better? Could, who could come through in the playoffs? Yeah, you need to be building a playoff roster. Again, Isaiah Thomas is building you a regular season roster. Exactly. You know, that's the issue. You need playoff players, and Kyrie Irving is a playoff player. Right. So Even with that if being, it comes down to it, where Cleveland is playing Boston in the in like the Eastern Conference Finals, and now it's a tie game. Right. One team got Kyrie Irving and the other team got Isaiah Thomas. Ooh. So with that being said, what do you think gonna happen? You think Cleveland gets do you think Cleveland gets without getting better? Let's say both teams stay as is. We know that we know both teams are gonna have to make at least one or two more moves just to make stuff even out. But we're gonna say, let's say everything stays as is. Does Cleveland get past Boston as constructed? I don't think so. I can't even argue with you. Because I didn't Kyrie think Kyrie is a, such a big factor in their yeah, offense. Yeah. Like when they get into that like point where they just can't score, he just scores on his own. Who can right. score twenty straight points on his own with no problem? I put I put I put Boston slightly ahead right now, but anything can happen because of the LeBron factor. So I think they are probably as even as you could really say. But the X factor to me, if Jason Tatum does anything at all. It's a wrap, you know. And if and if and if um if Horford gets one rebound because he's awfully rebound, but if they get any if they get any any play from Morris, any play from Tatum, and then just get what they expect out of the rest of the guys, I, I don't I don't think I don't think that they can beat them. Even if they do beat them this year, they won't beat them next year. And Gordon Hayward is a monster on the low too. Yeah, yeah, we gonna he see. He get no love because he's in Utah. And, and nobody watches he's games that late. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but if Gordon Hayward was on like LA or the Knicks or Miami, yo, yeah. people would be like, yo, this dude is a savage, yo. Yeah. He be going in the like other they put teams, his um throwing it on the team. Like, they actually put his numbers up against uh this. Yeah, they put his numbers up against them. It was like y'all think y'all think Paul George that nice. Now let's put this guy let's put this random guy's numbers beside <laughs> Paul George. Now, who's the better player? It's like, damn, this dude pretty good. It was Gordon Hayward. Yeah, Gordon Hay was 27, and I think yeah. Kyrie Irving is 26. Yep. It's going to be something yeah, else, man. Got them in there. That's, no, that's no. Called, I don't think, I don't think he's called, 26. I think Kyrie like 24, 25. Kyrie not that old. Kyrie was, Kyrie was super young. Yeah, Kyrie yeah, was... He uh, might even be younger than that. Kyrie Irving is 25. He's yeah, 25. I told you. Kyrie is super young. He was like 19 he when he came him. in the league. Some dumb shit he like that. In, in his extreme prime. Right, and you got Gordon Haywood in the middle of his prime. Exactly. So it's gonna be something to watch. It's, if nothing else, because we gotta go. If nothing else, it's gonna be fun to watch. But what do you guys think down in the comments? First of all, do y'all like the format with me and NASA going back and forth? And then we also, all, we always ultimately agree in the end. I mean, we feel like Boston probably <laughs> got the best. But I'm just saying, I'm playing devil's advocate a little bit. I, I think that it's as close as it can get with 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 a slight edge. I'm going to say a slight edge because of the LeBron factor. NASA feels like it's a slight edge because of the Kyrie factor. So, you know, we're going to agree to disagree. So, y'all got to break the tie in the uh, in the comments. Y'all like the new format? Did we go too damn long? It don't matter, man. It was entertaining the whole way. It's easy to listen to. It's, I don't even got to put a track behind this, but I'm going to do it anyway. But you know it is what it is, man. But y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comments. NASA think Boston is going to go to the finals this year because they got the edge. I say it's close. I think Cleveland gonna find a way because I don't think they're finished making moves. But as constructed, I would also give the slight edge 
to the Celtics. But the LeBron factor is really what's bringing the Cavs up. That's the only thing that's keeping it even remotely even is that LeBron factor. But you know, it is what it is. We out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Till next time. Now, so go ahead, go ahead and take them out, man. Take us out. Take us out. While I drink my cream soda. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. If y'all want more NASA One, put more NASA One in the bottom. And uh, check his link out in the description. And we gone.